Good afternoon, dear friends. This is me again. My name is Andrei Lobov, and I represent the Steen Company. Today I would like to tell you about a very interesting project, an electrical go-kart. In summer, a Moscow company came to speak to us. They produce gas-powered go-karts, and they look in the future and they understand that very soon everyone will transfer to electricity and they want an electrical kit for their frame. We have done that, we have produced the kit, we installed the DA90S motor there with combined windings according to Mr. Duinov's development and we tried it in Moscow on a go-kart track. We drove a lot, there were a lot of small errors, we corrected them, again we drove a lot and the task was the following. For a go-kart to run for 10 minutes without overheat. But the client's appetite was ever-growing. It all started with renting those go-karts and then they wanted just to switch one button to switch it. And for the go-kart not only to be able to operate in a rental mode, but also in a club mode. And what does it mean? It is races. You know, when a go-kart is in the club mode, then a gas-powered go-kart develops the speed up to 70 km per hour, which is quite serious. And we had to take that into account as well. When we did that, they came to us again and they said, if ever there is an emergency at the go-kart track, we would like to have the possibility to switch the go-kart to the turtle mode remotely. We have done that. We now have three modes – rental, club and the so-called turtle mode. What are the drawbacks there? Well, maybe in the club mode the motor did get a little bit overheated. That is why we installed this ventilator there. It is a very powerful ventilator. It does not consume that much of electricity. It does not impact production of battery that much. And it cools down the motor, but not DA90S, but DA90SM. You see that it has a casing. It's more massive, it's massive iron, which gets cooled down with the help of a ventilator. At one of the tests of the go-karts in Moscow, partners came to take part in it. Alexander Manjulo was there, everyone had a try, everyone was really content. And I will tell you what, dynamics of an electrical go-kart is very different from that of a gas-powered one. There is no vibration, there is no smoke, and you know what I noticed? You know, I have run many tests, and I have seen many people driving go-karts, electrical go-karts. And you know, it is very convenient to go at it, if you have never tried it. An electrical one is much more convenient than a gas-powered one. There are many less surprises, and it is much easier to learn driving an electrical cart than a gas-powered one. Now, getting back to the tests. There was also an order from Sochi. It is the company Karting Pro. They have two go-kart tracks, one in the Olympic Park, the other one at Rosa Kutter Resort. At Rosa Kutter, it is an indoor go-kart track where it is very inconvenient to use gas-powered go-karts. By the evening, there is a lot of smoke, people inhale these fumes, they have headaches, especially employees. I went through it myself. While we were trying it, and there were gas-powered go-karts driving around, it is very unpleasant, very unpleasant. So, as for go-kart tracks in Sochi, we developed this installation for them. This is the mechanical part of the motor DA90SM. It is already enclosed in this metallic casing, but still we installed powerful ventilation there for cooling down and the reducing gear. The electrical part comprises the controller, cabling, the switch, it is put under the wheel, forward, backward, on, off, rental mode, club mode, 
and we also added another mode. This is the so-called turtle mode. You can switch it on remotely and it makes the go-kart move really slowly. If there is an emergency situation at the go-kart track, you know, a hit or an accident, anything can happen. It is quite powerful equipment. So organizers have the possibility to remotely limit capacity of the go-kart for it just to be able to finish the distance. What else can I say? I had a go on the go-kart where we installed this kit and I'm very satisfied with it. What are the advantages? One of the main advantages is that this motor is really economical. It allows you to have six to seven runs of 10 minutes in the rental mode. As for the club mode, where capacities are really high, where sportsmen develop high speeds, well, there our go-kart had four runs. Of course, we need to develop it further. There are some remarks concerning cabling and so on. We are working on that. However, the main thing is that the go-kart has been used as the Rosa Kuter go-kart track for several months. Those who are in Sochi at this moment, I recommend that you visit it. Some time ago, our partners from the African continent visited that Sochi go-kart track, Jules Weber and Barbara. The race consisted of six go-karts. Jules Weber drove an electrical cart, the others drove gas-powered cars, and he was the last one to start, and I was filming it, and at the fifth circle he was number three already. And then I just stopped filming because I had many other things to do. But I did watch the beginning of the race. And you know, I was totally delighted. The cart is very different dynamics-wise. It behaves slightly differently. You can see that it is very easy to control. It is just so pleasant to control this cart. So, friends, what would I like to say? As of today, this project, the go-kart project, is really interesting. Why? Because it is really commercially interesting. It is in high demand. It is commercially profitable. We see great prospects all around the country, not only our country. You know, renting, it is something that brings you money straight away. And it is something that allows you to use our motor, our motor specifically, because it is one of the best ones.